Welcome to a new tutorial of the Quests module for Game Creator. The Quest module also comes with a few tools to help the player know where to go next. These tools are called Points of Interest and can be added using the Hotspot component. For example, let's say we want to let the player know where they can gather magical thistles and get a bottle of alcohol. We can add the Hotspot component to the Floral Prefab and search for the option Task Point of Interest. We can fill in the quest and task values. And we'll do the same with the Alchemist character. Referencing the Alcohol Bottle task. Great! But what does that do? Well, it's all up to you. Points of interest indicate a position for a specific task when it's active. We can, for example, drag and drop the mini map prefab from the UI package. And we'll see a radar appear on the bottom right corner of the screen with the location of all active points of interest. We can also easily use a navigation compass from games like Elden Ring, which displays the general direction where points of interest are. Simply drag and drop the Navigation Compass Prefab and it will automatically display all active points of interest. Lastly, we can also use the Indicators Prefab to overlay a UI icon on top. If a point of interest is off screen, then we can either hide the icon or automatically display an arrow that points towards the direction of the out of bounds object. All these icons can be customized on a task level by simply changing the sprite and color fields of a quest and task node. That's all for now. Remember, you can read about all this and more in the documentation, which we'll link down in the description. We also recommend checking out the multiple example scenes bundled with the Quest module, which can be accessed from the install window. Start your journey now with the Quest module for Game Creator. Available now on the Unity Asset Store.